Here's a question for you. What is the strongest Ishtal element? You're probably thinking of wood because of Kiana and I guess there is the occasional game where you get Shogov above 10,000 HP. But this answer is wrong. The strongest Ishtal element is ice and it's not even close. Don't believe me? Well, I'm pretty sure I can convince you in a single fight. Here we have four Ishtal on the board with a Rek'Sai one star and a Kiana one star being empowered. My opponent has a four Bastion frontline with an itemized Ilaoi three star. Rek'Sai drops low and all of a sudden she is dealing over 8000 true damage seconds into the fight. The enemy frontline was effectively removed from the board and all I have to do is clean up the rest. What exactly is happening here? The Ice Ishtar reads that when an empowered unit drops below 30% HP they will become untargetable and heal for 30% of their max HP. If you manage to get to 4 Ishtar with the help of augments then you activate a bonus effect. Enemy units near by take 30% of their max HP as true damage. While powerful this effect would not be broken except for one small detail. This true damage can be amplified. Is this intended? Probably not. In this example Rek'Sai has a jeweled gauntlet because Spellcrit works in this interaction. We add two Night Harvesters for an additional 50% bonus damage and it also brings us to 100% critical strike chance. For good measure we're also adding six layers for an additional 40% bonus damage. Instead of 30% maximum HP we are now dealing 79.8 or 80% rounded up of the enemy's HP bar as true damage. This is why Ice is better than would. You don't care if your opponent has a 10,000 HP Jogov since he would just end up taking 8,000 true damage from a Rek'Sai one star in front of him. As disgusting as this sounds I do have two more points I want to address. First of all you have to go through a decent amount of RNG before you can play this comp once. There are six different elements in the game and chances are that you can play all day and not see the ice element once. Even if you manage to find it there is another problem. This comp only works if you reach for Ishtar which requires either an emblem or a specific augment. There is no guarantee to get either. So to summarize, even if people actively aim to abuse this, you won't face it very often. Second, I do want to highlight a bug I stumbled upon when testing this comp. In some fights I noticed that the true damage on the same unit was lower than expected. In this fight we can see that the enemy Swain 2 star takes 1154 true damage. In another fight all of a sudden he only took 820 damage. Even though his HP values haven't changed. If we check the expected damage then the first fight had the correct values. In the second fight both Night Harvesters were not amplifying the damage. The main difference was that Rek'Sai finished her animation during the proc which might have caused the item to not function properly. It did not happen very often but Rek'Sai might not be the best unit if you are stacking the Night Harvester. Once the practice mode on the PBE returns I will look more into the new items and see what kind of bugs they are hiding. If you want to learn more about set 9.5 content why not subscribe and support this channel. I hope you learned something and see you next time.